So let's get them to give their get their deposit back. In your packs, we have a we checklist. We want you to get your deposit back. So here we go. And now we hand back almost all our deposits full. And guess what? We tell our tenants tips for ensuring a full deposit return when you leave. Have you? And remember my treat Susie like she's stupid. I like to just be really simple things. Have you bedroom removed all the contents, furniture cleaned inside and out, good working order, furniture removed back to its original position, etc., etc. I mean, it's a obvious tick list. First off, that that emotionally tells the tenant we're probably not going to have a fight here. They want to give me my deposit back because they've told me how I can get it back. Secondly, it's a lot easier for them to do it because they're probably going to go, well, I suppose a bit. I do, not, I don't know what to do, but they've told me exactly what to do. I would suggest you want to use something like ours, copy it immaculately or make it even better. Um, have a process to manage it. If you've got any worries, do a pre-inspection inspection because that gives them time to rectify anything you found. If you uh, move in and move out, take photos and date time the photos. It, it, it would be sensible. Pay attention to detail. Check every plug. Um, I remember a situation when I was still doing checkouts where I was like, OK, signed off, sent them the deposit back. And then I was still doing the hoovering at that point. So I hoovered rock bags. I'd only gone and done loads of cigarette burns on the carpet. Then they'd somehow scraped the carpet for extra fluff. And then they'd super glued it in there. <laughs> Uh -huh. So we say that we will give your deposit back within 14 days and we pay it by check. And I will not give the deposit back immediately. I don't care how much you ask for it because I want to figure out is, you know, have you done the uh, cigarette fluff trick on me?